Hey guys, my name is Liz and welcome to my new YouTube channel. So I decided to create this channel for all things dreadlocks. So I've had my dreadlocks for over 12 years and I've been doing them professionally for over 10. Meaning creating them, maintaining them, extending them, decorating them, all the things. So I hope you're here. I hope you found me because you either want dreadlocks, you're interested in them, you have them, you want to be more hands-on with them at home, or maybe you want to learn more so that you can do this as a career. I have so many exciting videos planned. I can't wait to share them with you. But for today's video, I thought I would just kind of introduce myself and share with you my dread story and how I got to where I am now. Before I get into it, don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, I have a lot of good stuff coming. The next video is the one I'm most excited about. Think of just a ton of information, tips and tricks, condensed, fired off in just a very short amount of time. So stay tuned for that and let's get into my dread story. So I'm going to try to keep this quick, let's say under three minutes. So let's put three minutes on the clock. Okay, so when I was a little kid, my family and I used to go to Mexico every year and I loved getting my hair braided and I really believe that that's where it all started. The first time I can remember seeing dreadlocks or taking notice of them, I was about 13 years old. I was at like a local band concert and the lead singer Adam had bleach blonde dreadlocks and I was obsessed with them. Right around that time, the movie Gone in 60 Seconds came out and Angelina Jolie has bleach blonde kind of dreadlocks, it's more just like twists, and I just wanted to be her. But back then there was no like education, resources, social media, YouTube, or anything like that. I had no idea how to do them, so I waited. After high school, I ended up going to cosmetology school. I had always wanted to be a hairdresser, and I figured that I would learn something about dreadlocks in cosmetology school, but that really wasn't the case. There's like a paragraph this big in the textbook, and we didn't even really talk about it. So I was still just kind of like waiting for the right time. At some point after that, when I was a hairdresser, I had been just saving like pictures from Google, inspiration pictures in a folder on my computer. Like that's how long ago that was. And just researching on Google, like blog posts or whatever. And so I decided to just wing it. And at that time, everybody just said, back home, palm roll and use wax. So that's what I did, and they came out terrible. <laughs> Actually, I have a picture, hang on. Those are my day one dreadlocks. I've been coloring my hair dark for a few years in order to grow it out to be able to do that. Anyway, they looked terrible, frizzy, crazy, rat's nest, and it was mortifying to go to work. I was a hairdresser working in a salon, and I was just wearing them up in a ponytail, and then just in my free time, constantly working on them. And actually, I was living in Hawaii at the time, and I went home to visit family like shortly after I started them, and I was excited about like that shock factor of just showing up with dreadlocks, but it was not the reaction I was going for. Honestly, no one knew what the heck was going on with my hair. Anyway, so I had done them really, really tiny at first. If you can picture Little Wayne in 2010-ish, he had really skinny dreadlocks that he would always do like design braids with. And so that was kind of my inspiration at the time. They don't look tiny in the picture just because they're not crocheted. They're just fluffy and new. Um, but I had over a hundred to start. Anyways, there was a lot going on. I was constantly messing with them, constantly looking online, trying to find anything that would help. My dog is barking. Within a few months, I feel like I'd seen something about a crochet hook, so I had no idea how to use it. I just got one and was like jamming it in there and just kind of figuring things out on my own. I'm totally going over the time limit, aren't I? <laughs> I'm almost done. Okay, so, so I started playing around with trying to add an extension here to make them longer. They still looked bad. I decided I wanted to go back to blonde. So I tried to bleach them and that didn't work. Lay down. Good girl. So then I had this idea, what if I made blonde extensions and I literally 
would cut off a dreadlock, like close to the root, cut all the black off, and then attach a blonde dread extension. And seriously, I had no idea what I was doing. I was making it up. I switched them all over to blonde, and during that process, I would take like two dreadlocks next to each other, cut them off, and put one extension on. So I combined them during that process also. So I went from like over 100 down to 69. Anyway, it took me like a year to finally get them to a place where they looked good and then after that I started having people asking about doing them on them since I was a hairdresser. So I started working on clients back then like 11 years ago, um, just once in a while and then it very gradually grew into what it is now. It was just kind of word of mouth back then and then as social media really escalated, so did my business. All right, I guess that is the gist of my story. So what I would love from you guys in the comments below is tell me a little bit about yourself, about your story, or if you have any questions or inspiration for me and what you wanna see on this channel, I would love to read those types of comments. So nice to meet you, thanks for being here, and I'll see you in the next one.